Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here, and welcome to another Two for Tuesday, where we do seemingly odd comparisons between stuff that may or may not be comparable. But we do that, so. Got my scale out for once. Thanks again, Mfos. All right, so we have today a Menu 21 Tuna Chunk Light Water Packed Lemon Pepper. Uh, this is an Ameriqual, the usual information, flameless ration heater, prohibited on commercial airlines, on a seal in the original meal bag. Evansville, Indiana, property of the U.S. government. In other words, you shouldn't have this. Warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, warfighter approved. And this is a replacement for the one that I sent to Eats, Treats, and MREs from my case. So this should be the 200th day of... 2017. Fairly fresh. So what are we going to compare this to? We are going to compare this to nothing. So off to the side that goes. But you know what? We'll weigh it anyway because this will be a segue into the next video I do, which will just be the actual MRE itself. 506 grams or... Uh, one pound, roughly two ounces. Uh, but yeah, we're not comparing this with anything. What we are comparing is a couple of mores. Now, a more is, as you can maybe make out, modular operational rashman, rashman, ration enhancement. Uh, so these are in addition to your standard MRE. So, um, and, and again, the, the modules themselves kind of explain it. So this is a type one high altitude cold weather. So if you're getting issued these, instead of an MCW, obviously you're not in a necessarily Arctic environment, but high altitude cold weather. So you're going to be in a mountain environment where it's going to get cold. Um, you're going to need some extra calories. Um, so that's what this is supposed to provide is, is an, in addition to your standard MRE, you would be issued um, high altitude cold weather ones if you're in a high altitude and cold weather. Uh, this is, I don't think I don't like it the scale as it goes off too quickly. Uh, this one is... Uh, 411 grams, so just about a pound. Uh, 14 and a half ounces, roughly. Uh, so I will go over the details of this, but before this craps out yet again, what we are comparing it to is a more hot weather assortment one. So this is a pack one. This is an assortment one. So this is in addition to this if you're obviously in hot weather. So we'll take away on that. 409 grams um, or 14 and a half ounces. So honestly, it's like two grams difference between this and this. And again, this is your main plus all your sides and everything else. And then as we break it down, okay, so you're in the desert. So what you do is you're issued your hot weather more, which as you can see by the contents, you have your caffeine, uh, chocolate pudding, dried cranberries, energy dill, lemon, lime, or orange. You have a snack, uh, filled cheddar, uh, filled pretzels, cheddar flavored, and two carbohydrate, and hand, uh, electrolyte drinks, CH, I think that's CHO, carbohydrate. We'll double check that on there. But again, you get issued that, and that's going to be, okay, maybe not, 177th day of 2016-ish. So again, in addition to your regular, 
And, and this packaging is similar to like the Ameriqual um, inner pack. Right, so in your more, you're also going to find a lemon lime of beverage powder, no fruit juice. So there's one of your drinks. An orange beverage powder, no fruit juice. Carbohydrate electrolyte, that's what that is. So you have two additional drinks included with your other drink. I know I keep going back to that, but that's the idea. Your cheddar cheese pretzels, uh, 162nd day of 2016. These are by, made by Sapaco, 51 grams, 1.8 ounces. Uh, these are cheddar cheese combos and not in really bad shape for the feel of them. We have a lemon lime energy gel. Uh, need package before opening. Kind of like that. And there's your details on that. You have cranberries, osmotic, 57 grams or two ounces. Maple Sapaco, 116th day of 2016. And you have your caffeinated chocolate pudding. It's interesting that has a different label attached to it. And that's not going to come off without a hell of a fight, is it? Even though it's already starting to come off a little bit on its own. That almost looks like the Zapple sauce label under there. I wonder if they just re repurposed it and then... I think we're going to have to maybe try to take the label off that later and take a look at it. There's your desert. Here's your mountain. So before I take it out of there, because it is on there, again, you have your explanation pack one, specifically designed, oh God, that's hard to read, for added nutrition during high altitude operations or at a temperature below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It may also be consumed at temperatures between 40 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have a caffeinated chocolate pudding, a nut and fruit mix type 2, toaster pastry, energy gel mixed berry, and snack filled pretzels, cheddar. Sapaco. So, same manufacturer. Again, same American Wall style inner bag packaging. Uh, here is your toasted brown sugar cinnamon toaster pastry. That is going to be one flat ass pop tart because that's. Well, there's the icing side, but that's 300 second day of 2017. That's not individually wrapped in there. That's just vacuum sealed. Ah, nut and raisin mix with pan coated chocolate discs. In other words, fake M and M's. Um, or what we call Smarties in Canada. Uh, 2.3 ounces, 66 grams. There's 269th day, 2017, at approximately 16 or 8 hours. Trans Packer Services Corporation, Brooklyn, New York. There's our relevant details on that. You have some cheddar cheese pretzels. Not bad shape either. Berry Energy Gel. And more caffeinated chocolate pudding. Four and a half ounces. And again, though it's done better this time, there is another, there's a separate, you can see. Oh, does this peel better? Damn you. You would tease me like that, wouldn't you? Um, I think, again, there's probably a Zapple sauce label under that. Which we'll find out when we go to the garbage, I hope. Um, so I know they're about a year different in production, but I... I mean, there's, there's no... 
So that label's more accessible. So you know what, we're just gonna try. These are in worse shape. Do that, toaster. Try both gels, better shape. No, gonna bother. We all know what that looks like. And besides, just stay tuned for when I actually review the tuna and uh, you'll get to see all of that in a separate video. Um, yeah, so interesting that The hot weather one does include two extra beverage powders. Obviously, you're going to need it because you're you're consuming more water. But the high altitude mountain one does not include extra hot drinks. So you would just be reliant on what you got in there. All right, well, that's fair enough, I guess. Um, you know, the old KFS. I guess we're just going to be doing, like, the bowl, too. You know, just a whole lot of spooning, really. Easy, people. Slight terror? Oh. Alright, whatever. Well, that ain't handy. It's a little sticky right there. Ooh, we do have an oxygen absorber. That's something. Look like coated nuts. quite small what was it six or seven years old but it seems okay um, gotta look in there right And that's to the 2016, so th I think those ones are probably 2017, but yeah, who's to say? Like pretty standard. Yep. Those smell a little stale, so, or maybe a little rancid, depending on... Mm, of course, the combos have a tear notch right in the middle because that makes sense, doesn't it? Yep, they're combos. And they smell like cheddar cheese and they're actually not really bad to beaten up, so that should be fun. Um, sure, why not? Nothing else that's going on my lunch tomorrow, so. I honestly don't think I've ever had nope scratch that I had the was it butterscotch pudding in the halal meal I reviewed Because that's an attractive sight. However, it is hopefully chocolate pudding. Give that a try. Oh my.
That's very chocolatey. Very thirst provoking. Ah, yeah, that's that's pretty thirst provoking. Go with something salty after that. That's what they look like on the inside there. It's a shell. Tube. Cheddar cheese middle. We have our osmotic cranberries. Those are chewy. Sorry about the jaw. Um, they're sweet. They're not sticky. They're very dry. Um, which isn't bad. I mean, they're very well dried, I guess. It would be a more positive way to spin that. All right, fake M&Ms. Or fat smarties. Yeah, those are kind of gross. I much prefer smarties. Uh, I didn't really look on them, did I? Other than the pan coated discs. Peanuts, candy. I don't know if there's almonds and walnuts in there. As to it, I probably tore, but there's about 27 different fake colors in there as well. It's trail mix. I mean, there's a piece of walnut there. Another piece of walnut. Piece of, no, it's peanut. That's fine. Something to keep in your pocket. Chew it on the way. You know what? I actually want to look at this because I want to see how badly... badly mangled that's going to be. Let's see if I can get a... Nope, it just opened. <coughs> Having said that, that was that is flat as a board, so that is highly vacuum packed. And it's one super flat pop tart. No oxygen absorber, oddly enough. Well, that's cinnamon brown sugar. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Maybe I should have made one of those electrolyte drinks. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it's a six-year-old flat Pop-Tart. Mm, it's not stale. Tastes fine. Go with our lemon-lime <laughs> energy gel. Thermal Pack LLC, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Forty calories, only forty calories. What? Yeah, that's interesting. You would think there would be more caloric value in, in that size of container for energy gel, but and this is the lemon lime, which is oh goopy. Oh, see, I didn't need that enough. Hang on. Oh, wow. That's... 
little bits of gel popping out of, oops, popping out of there. Oh. Okay, maybe I can understand why. Oh, it tastes a lot sweeter than that, oh my. It's really sweet. Second ingredient, maltodextrin. Third, sugar. Fourth, canola oil. Which is probably close to the first is water, but I mean, that's probably close to following Sunny D as far as ingredient list. Let's see if I open that a little larger, I can get, oh, I got a whiff of mixed berry right off the bat. Can I get gel out of this one or just... Ugh, sorry, that was not a very efficient hole. Sorry, got dog. Okay, that is... Let's take that off. That is the same very sickly sweet. Yeah, there's more gel in this, or... It's obviously separated out, but yeah, that's just pure sugar. That would be, I would either dump that, not necessarily a full um, bottle of water, but I would dump that into a bottle of water. Do they actually give any instructions? No, they don't. Um, yeah, I would either put that in water or I would alternate that with sips of water because that is just, I, I couldn't imagine choking back 40 grams of that. 40 grams, wasn't it? Sorry, 60 grams. That's just, yeah, no. Not gonna happen. We're just salty cheddar things again. Anyway, um, probably not as exciting as most, but um, we'll put everything together, weigh it out. Um, in a moment, um, I will be right back while I collect up all this and container and do all the other things. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. Um, so just for the sake of simplicity, yes, I know that... Let me see how we go. Yes, two different pouches, two grams apart. I don't care. So I'm not, I'm, I'm saving some of the components. I've got the other ones set aside for lunch and whatever. Um, but it, it doesn't matter, honestly. We have our cheddar cheese pretzels. Plus a tear out of that corner or whatever that was. And then we have our, oops, sorry. That raisin nut mix instead of our cranberries. Um, for our one energy gel, and we'll take it from our frosted toaster pastry. Because again. Everything is pretty much a duplicate of the other one. So, you know, again, when one has two drink pouches or two drink mixes, one doesn't. So, like I said, everything's going to kind of, but I mean, 46 grams, 50 grams, give or take a bit of extra packaging or something, which is only... One and a half little, like one and three quarter ounces. 
they're, they're pretty much comparable. Um, so that's that's the refuse you're going to be taken away from that. Um, and again, like I said, we had doubles, so I'm not going to go into tearing everything apart. Uh, remember, this is the one that I, I tried and yet yeah, no. Yeah, guess what, kids? That was what was underneath that label. So yes, they are just repurposed Zapple sauce um, containers. They just obviously just fill them with caffeinated chocolate pudding, slap a label on one side and some ink on the other. So I don't know if anybody noticed, anybody cared. I did. Now we might have to. At least I do. You don't have to. But uh, anyway, that's uh, Bourbon Street Joe. Um, and that was a cold weather, high altitude more. And a hot weather more. And then... Uh, Later in the week, uh, we'll have some more. Bourbon Street Joe, I'm out. Bye.